Finally an episode with a technical difficulty. Hey everybody, it's Sneakerfix and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Yoshi's Island. In the last episode, we conquered Mild after like five attempts. And uh, in this episode, we're going to move on to World 4-6 here. Moving on to World 4-6. We're getting close to the end of the game. Or ish. Lakeshore Paradise. We got two... Well, I mean, this level isn't... Uh, this level isn't that hard. It's just kind of weird. Like, this level is kind of weird. Uh, next level is kind of hard. We got, you know, we got... Oh, what the heck? Don't... I somehow... Oh my god, Jesus. I somehow grabbed the shell while the shell was in the water, I guess? That's kind of weird. I've never seen stuff like that happen before. But yeah, this this level's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of branching paths, I guess, is is a good way to say it. Like, a lot of, uh, a lot of secret little... There he is, kind of like this, where we can get uh, some some nice collectibles. So that's kind of nice. A little bit a uh, little bit trickier. I'm actually kind of glad that I, I I'm continuing to practice. I remember back uh, I can't remember whatever I can't even remember what episode that was. I think it was like episode five or something that I that I called the unprepared episode. Um, and I think I did really really bad in that episode, just like not being able to figure stuff out or. Or maybe having to go through, going, you know, like go back through the levels a fair bit, trying to actually get all the things that I missed there. But uh, oh man, that was a weird egg throw. But uh, I'm not about that life anymore. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I'm kind of cleaning up my act here and actually practicing these episodes before I do them. Because if I didn't practice this level, and maybe eh, the next level is pretty pretty easy actually when it comes to collecting all that stuff. Although there are a few tricky parts. Uh, I think I think if I didn't practice these levels, then I would have a hard time. On, uh, on video trying to trying to get all this stuff for you guys so uh, practicing pr as they say uh, well actually the whole uh, I'm not gonna get into the whole prex makes perfect can of worms but whatever this is uh, this is a channel where we have fun we don't we don't we don't discuss we don't discuss things we just actually we don't really I don't really talk about anything at all I just kind of Actually, uh, when Mar and Marduk, I kind of talk about some things, but this is kind of like I, t I talk about this every few episodes, I guess, in Yoshi's Island. But Yoshi's Island is kind of like, uh, you know, it's kind of like a. Uh, oh wait, is there? Did I see? God damn it! Oh, I did see one of you guys. Luckily, there's. I don't think there's any jerk. Okay, well, if he was a jerk, he'd be way gone by now. Uh, I'm pretty sure there aren't any jerks in this level specifically. Uh, or in next level, actually, too, which is kind of nice. They all kind of just hang around and, uh, and and let you grab whatever they got. So that's kind of nice. So, so thank you. Thank you, first, Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo, for not putting any jerks in this level. Second of all, thank you, uh, jerks, for not uh, acting out against your programming and uh, still providing us the necessary red coins that we need. Probably not to save baby Luigi, but uh, the necessary red coins that I need to feel good about myself and beating this game <laughs> all right oh god i forgot about that yep uh that's gonna probably hurt uh but yeah like i was saying you know, like marduk is kind of uh it's kind of a game where i have a lot of like stuff i can talk about and you know i mean yoshi's island is uh there's, there's a few stories that uh i could probably tell with yoshi's island um but i don't know i, I, I was just fine i i have more um more, uh, I guess, related stuff to talk about with Marduk. Because with, with Marduk, it's, you know, it's a game I know really, really well. Uh, it's something I really grew up with. And again, this is also a game I know pretty well and I grew up with, but there's always something going on with Marduk. With this, I kind of got to, you know, I really got to, I got to reach into the, uh, to the depths of my mind to come up with some, actually, it's more just like stream of consciousness kind of commentary anyways, so it's not even really, uh, not even really that planned out. Not that any of my episodes are really planned out as it is. I don't really plan what I say except for like my update videos are really the only videos where I actually plan stuff to save anyways that aside uh, we're playing Yoshi down we got we, we almost got a shutout on this bandit there we go what do we got here we got full eggs it's I mean it's useful I used it last episode so there you go there's there's replacing the uh, there's replacing the eggs I used last episode and I think I've got everything here I, I, I you don't actually need to hit this thing but I might as well hit it just to kind of show you guys what it does, it just makes a little bridge here. It makes it a little bit harder to uh, get into that little secret mini game there. And what the heck do you do? Do you just make stars? Yeah, you do. That's that's convenient. Actually, it's a good thing maybe I I, I, I hit that before I hit the stars because then it made it easier to get the stars, I guess. Um, yeah, so it just makes it a little bit easier to get into the uh, to the door up there if you hit that first. But oh well, we don't really. I mean, at this point, we do we really need items? I think I think I think we're I think we're at a point in the game where we don't need any more items. We also don't need any more um, uh, lives because we're basically 
we're basically full on on the amount of lives that we're ever gonna need and we found a new one of these guys I'm gonna think I think these guys are pretty jerkish as well because they shoot little bouncing cacti that seriously ruin your day and you can uh, you can kind of no oh, not if you ground pound in the water you can kind of ground pound and they'll shoot uh, they'll shoot a bunch of cacti and then stop just kind of like the other guys so if you need them to, if you really need them to stop uh, then you can ground pound try to avoid the cacti that they spit out uh, and then um, sort of hope to god they don't shoot you <laughs> oh god okay Baby Mario, this is, I don't know, I, I guess this level is kind of tricky in the way that I, I have been hit a lot. Uh, at least when I was practicing the level, I got I hit quite a bit. And uh, there's some, sp well, not really spooky, but kind of uh, stuff that I'm going to need to look out for later on the episode. Because um, if I don't, then it's going to uh, it's gonna catch me by surprise and I'm probably going to take a bunch of damage that I don't need to. Can you, wait, can you stand on that guy's head? I think I just stood on his head. That's really weird. I didn't think you could do that, but I guess that's possible. Or maybe I was just standing on the uh, on the platform. I just didn't realize what I was actually standing on. There's another freaking crab jerk here. Just get him out of the way. This guy's in a really awkward spot because you can kind of like ground pound and then yeah. So here's another uh, secret over here. Is if you gotta jump down here, or if you jump down here, then you can get uh, to another little secret area. So. Like I said, there's a lot of secret areas in, in this level, and just kind of uh, it's kind of tricky that way. And we got a new little thing here that we can that we can ride on. It's an up and down uh, guy as opposed to the directional guys. So this guy, these guys can only really go up and down, and I believe they go as high as Yoshi currently is, because if I ride this and I and if I stay on it, it's gonna go right to the ceiling, and then bounce off and go uh, the other direction. So I'm pretty sure they go, like I said, as high as, as Yoshi is. So if Yoshi's, you know, a few whatever pixels off the ground or something in there, that's all they're going to go. And yeah, I believe that's the only red coin in there. But let me make sure because, yeah. just want to make sure because I probably would ignore it if, uh, if I didn't know. All right. Uh, and actually, we're going to want to grab that thing again because it makes this second part here way easier. Oh boy, I'm not sure if it's intended that you do this, but this is what I this is what I did during my practice run. So if you grab that, then you can go over here, and I want to just grab this guy just to make sure he's not a right coin. And you can actually spit this out here. So there's another one of these down on the bottom of this pit here, but uh, if you bring this one, then you don't need to like worry about jumping on something that's not actually there or whatever. So personally, I, I just like uh, doing it that way better. And then we can uh, we can also then grab that guy and use him to uh, good effect in a little bit. So oh boy, uh, I want to ride this. I want to ride you up. I want to ride you up. Yes, there we go. So now that we got this guy, we can kind of use him here and like just gonna have not to shoot, uh, not to spit our or not to shoot our eggs. Uh, so we don't have to aim. We can just kind of. We can just kind of go, and I don't know why I did that. We could have just flut You can flutter over that whole thing in one jump. Um, you just need to do a double flutter, but uh, I don't know why I did that single one, because then that requires me to do some parkour that I don't need to do. And, and Lord knows this game is full of parkour that's difficult if you don't need to do it. Ah, I've got lots of eggs. I can go up here. There's another uh, jerk crab up here, so we're just going to dispatch of him. And wow, that took out all of the... Uh, Actually, I don't know what this is. Is it like, um, I don't know. I've never, I've never really, like, it, I, I've always thought it looked like foam, but it doesn't really make sense for it to be foam. So, I don't know. I don't really know what it is. I, I, yeah, I, I guess it also wouldn't make sense for eggs to, like, go through foam like that. Even if Yoshi's got quite an arm and he's throwing them pretty hard. I don't know. It just never, it never really made sense to me what those things are. Or I guess I could, uh, I, I guess I could never piece it together, that is. All right, so we're almost at the end of the level here, um, and you know there hasn't really been that uh, that much really tricky stuff to speak of, I don't think at least. And if you time this jump well, ugh, I didn't time it well enough. Well, I can get that anyways. I just wanted to see if I could time that jump well. I did. Do, I was able to do that in my practice recording, uh, so I thought I could do it again here. So if you want to get over there, what you're going to want to do is actually hit this right here, and that's going to make a bridge all the way over. Wait, what? Excuse me? I thought that... 
Wait, so is it this one then? Or do they just do... Wait, what? I'm confused. I... Yeah, I'm not actually quite sure what happened there. <laughs> I guess it depends which order. I guess, it, I guess it matters which order you hit those in. That's interesting. Well, I'm gonna need to grab Imari here. Well, at least, at least I know I can make this jump. So I'm gonna try and make it here. No, that's no way I'm making it there. Hold on, give me a second here and like, can... oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 there we go. All right, well, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh boy, okay, well that, okay, that was our last red coin. So we know those last two aren't red coins, which is good. Need to worry about it and, uh, oh, you can't hit. Uh, I was hoping you could hit those uh those those blocks but i suppose not and now we just got oh god a few a few uh piranha plant jerks ah i don't think i i i figured out the name of those uh of those green piranha plants i don't think i talked about it i was planning to talk about it in uh in the last episode here but i don't think i ever ever ended up doing it so these things are actually called chomp chomps um, no, you know what, I think I actually did talk about these, because, yeah, no, I, I definitely did talk about this, because I remember talking about, uh, I think Chain Chomps or something, and how they're nothing like Chain Chomps, which is true. Um, yeah, no, I, I've definitely talked about that before, but, unfortunately, we need to rely on our plus 20 crutch instead of our, instead of just our plus 10 crutch, but, uh, we're gonna end up, with, we're gonna end up with, uh, 30 points in this level regardless, so, very nice. Very nice. Give me a, give me a minigame. Yeah, I got a minigame. I wonder what we're gonna get this time. Let's see. 30 stars, 20 coins, 5 flowers. Good, we didn't miss any coins, unlike in the, uh, unlike in Mild's friggin' fortress there. Which I still haven't gotten. I'll get, I'll get, uh, I'll get between this episode and next episode. What do we got here? Roulette! Hey, let's, let's do the dangerous roulette again. I've got 200 lives. Can I, can I? How do I put in 99 again? That's how we do it. So yeah, 99 lives. That's exactly what I want to do. Now, give me times three. I would like a times three. Okay, you gave me plus one. Oh, <clears throat> all right. Can I, can I, I can't speed through this. I'm pressing all the buttons on my controller. I can't speed through this. Oh, well. At least we didn't lose any lives. At least we didn't lose any lives. Although, multiplied by would have been nice. Multiplied by three, that would have been pretty sweet. Or even two. I think the only other time I did this, I got a uh, time zero, which kind of sucks. But, like I said, we don't need uh, all 200 of these lives. Alright, 4-7. Ride like the wind. Uh, this level is kind of tricky. Um, in that, oh god, I, I hate that. Oh wow, that, like, oh hey. That worked. Okay, good. That I wasn't expecting that to happen, but oh god. All right. Um, so yeah, this level is kind of tricky in that um, you have to be uh, you have to be pretty good at uh, timing your jumps. And also, I need to kill this piranha plant. So if you could come up here, yeah, I really appreciate that one. And if you could just die, yep, that's exactly what I need you to do. Yeah, so you need to be really good at timing your jumps in this one because uh, we are going to be riding it a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot of these guys. And they're really, really quick, so you got to be fast on your feet. Oh, okay, I, I, heard, I, I just barely made that one. And also, you can um, you can do stuff like increase your momentum if you jump on off them when you, uh, you're really high. Like, So here, for example, um, I can get... Oh, okay, I, I should be able to do better than that. There we go. So I can increase my momentum by jumping off this thing. There's nothing really up here, but it's more of a uh, of a showcase than anything. Uh, just that you can do that. So, oh hey, we got these guys. Hello. Can I take your babies? Thank you, little balloon or not balloon penguins. Why did I say balloon penguins? I meant to say boomerang penguins because that's kind of how uh, that's kind of how they go. That's kind of how they do. No, yeah. So like, I'm gonna need your little baby though. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now, the only thing is, we do need some eggs here. Can we... Oh, no. That just doesn't do anything. That just makes him... I just makes him go a little, like... Uh, we do need some eggs here, and we can grab some of these guys' as eggs. Uh, just give me one more. Yeah. And there's a cool uh, section up here that I actually didn't uh, figure out about until... Um, I, I had to I had to do a little, a little research. I didn't have to I didn't actually have to look it up online, but I had to do a little digging in the level to actually find this place. It's not that important, but it does allow you to get um, 
uh, I believe, some extra stars. So we got another one of these balloons. And uh, this time, there are no red coins or... Uh, was I think there... Yeah, yeah, there was a flower in the last one we did here. Just lives, I guess. Uh, although I don't, I've only actually ever seen that one life. But yeah, so these are all just regular coins. Nothing, nothing really to worry about here. Although more lives would be nice, even though I don't need them. <laughs> More lives are always nice, right? More lives are always nice. When you go in, like, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii or whatever. I can't re I remember what that game is that uh, allows you to collect, like, millions and millions of coins. And you had, and at the end of the game, there was, like, a gold rush thing or something like that. Well, you get a lot of lives in that one. And then once you follow it here, you got to be ready to be quickly ready to hover. So you can grab this aeroplane here, or a helicopter, I suppose. Uh, and there's nothing important actually to get on the helicopter. Again, it's just more, more coins. How many coins? I don't know how many coins they think we need, but then it brings you here, which gives you, I guess, some eggs, and then, but uh, more importantly, gives you some stars if you want them. And I didn't say we do want them. We got 25 stars right now, and it is important to go back because you can get a flower and five red coins. So if you don't get any of that stuff, that uh, that kind of sucks, I would say. So just make sure that you do go back and grab all that stuff. But now on to the rest of the level. That was really the only tricky part about this level. The rest of this level is just kind of uh, platforming well. So I think what I'm going to do is before I hit this mid ring, I'm actually going to go and I'm going to hit this first, which will give us some coin or some um, uh, some some stars rather. And we're going to grab our key. And we got to get up this way. So the only way really to do that that I know of is using this bullet bill and jumping. Or are these bonsai bills? I don't know if these are bonsai bills or bullet bills. They're probably all kind of the same. I mean, they're all the same thing, but it's just the classification. So we got a, uh, a flower there. We can also hop in here. And uh, after we do all this stuff, then I think what we're gonna I think we're gonna go grab the mid ring then, so we don't have to worry about do any of this stuff ever again. Hey, we won. So we got a plus 20. Give me more. Give me all. Give me all the plus 20s. That's that's exactly what I need. So now we can uh, not go in there. We can go in here and hit the mid ring. And uh, now we got uh, admittedly a bit of a tricky level ahead of us here. So this is uh, I think I think if, if anywhere I'm going to be quiet and uh, and concentrate, this is going to be where it is. But as first year, it's not that hard. And I actually haven't done the rest of this level correctly yet, so I don't know how uh, how that's gonna bode. So we're gonna kind of backpedal our little I don't know what this is like little carousel or something uh, to grab that. And oh god, uh, yeah, there's uh, there's death number one. I I'm expecting a few here. It's really like the the rest of the level isn't that long from here. It's just like getting through that area is really tough. So. Uh, if you can get through that area, or if you can get through that section of the level, and also I think we don't have any more stars, so we're gonna have to do a little crutch situation here. Uh, I, once you get through the, once you get through the, uh, once you get through this part, there's only not even like 30 seconds left of level, so um, we just need to be able to get through it. Is all. <laughs> all right, there we go. I want to mess up my jumps. Oh god, that was. I don't know why that scared me so much. I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have been so worried. All right. Ah, okay, fine. <laughs> Let me meet you guys back here when I've actually made that jump. Ooh. Okay, whoa, that flung me really crazy. So I think we've got one more flower left to go. And, oh God, three are, okay, yeah. We got five red coins, good. That's exactly what we wanted to be at right now. We wanted five red coins and one flower. So let's get ready to, uh, to do our platforming. Okay, so that, uh, those coins right there aren't actually, uh, the, whoa, ah, I screwed it, man. Well, uh, the coins before, uh, the other switches, so those three coins that were kind of in that special pattern before the, uh, before the other guys, I don't know what these things are called, like, I don't know, but whatever they are, those three coins before them are, uh, are never red coins, so, the we get the three red coins coming off of the uh, off of the one, and the other two red coins are right beside the flower. So if we can get to the flower, then we can get to the red coins. And can I please have this coin? Thank you. I'm having a real hard time getting all these coins. All right. 
Gotta be ready to jump. Oh god. Wait. So like, I killed myself there, but we need the flower. So I'm not finishing this level without that flower. Man, this level turns out to be much harder than, uh, than I was uh, anticipating. Although I guess part of that also has to do with uh, with Let's Players Curse. Kind of, you know, I'm I'm talking. I'm trying to come up with uh, at least, if not funny, engaging commentary. Um, so uh, my attention is kind of removed from the game, and you know, uh, as a result, I you often tend to play worse when you're commentating something because. Uh, like I just said, your 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 attention is split. God damn it! I don't think we can do that. Yeah, no, that's that's not possible. Oh, that comes back. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind for next time. <laughs> I guess they both come back. They both respawn. All right, we got it again. <laughs> Let's get this flower. And I actually, this is maybe not such a good thing to hear, but I actually don't know how I got to the flower and the red coins before. Uh, like on my practice run, so that's uh, I'm I'm sure very promising to hear. I think it was like this. I think I just started going, and I just found them. Yeah, like that basically. Um, I do have I do have more. Okay, can I? Yeah, can I get a kit? All right. Well, I mean, that probably went better than it should have been <laughs> because I didn't actually ride the uh, the rails. So. I mean, whatever, that's fine. All right, we got another bonus challenge here. And please, God, tell me I got 100. Thank God. All right, we got 100 points. Nice. Don't have to worry about that freaking level ever again. And we still got our bonus. We got our bonus game here. Match cards. Awesome. Now I'm going to pay attention here and see if I can match all the cards. What do we got here? Oh, God, that looks way too hard to memorize already. Well, all the 10s and 20s are together. I don't think I don't think I know anything else other than the tens and the twenties, unfortunately. Come on, Yoshi Zone, just like throw me a bone here. Give me an easy give me an easy match like I had off screen. Like I'm not kidding, when I had that crazy match off screen, everything really was just side by side. So I don't know <laughs> no one's gonna believe me, but it happened, man. I think the blue is in here. Nope. Was it next one over? Was it here? Oh, it was. All right. Well, I guess. Uh, definitely the. I don't know. The cloud was like somewhere over here, right? Was it? Was it? Was it this one? No, nope, that was a magnifying glass. I actually do remember that. Uh, was the other one like right here? Hey, we got it. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, I know where the cloud is, but can we get the cloud? Oh, we got the cloud. All right. Oh, God. It's getting down. Why does it always get down to the wire like this? Okay. Um, What's this one? Full eggs. I think full eggs was here. Oh, my God. He's a legend. I've done it. Let's go. All right. I think this is a 10-up. Yeah, it is. Awesome. And we get to see that cool spread of Yoshi that we never get to see. Nice. We got that 10-up. Oh, God. We have to do it to wait through 10 one-ups, though. Couldn't have done this any better, developers. You couldn't have just made me have plus 10. You gotta do me one at a time. Real cool of you. All right, uh, unfortunately, I hate doing this because this is two cliffhangers in one friggin' week. Um, but uh, we're getting on a bit long here, so I think I'm gonna have to cut it off here. We're gonna, we're gonna fight this really, really weird Koopa uh, in the next episode. So until then, I hope you guys are having a great day. Until next time, peace off, and I'll see you all later. Bye.